Good day, folks. Thank you for joining us here at Your Health. Say, did you know, men, that as you age, you will lose up to 22 pounds of muscle mass in your life? Okay. Women, you will lose 11 pounds of muscle mass. Another interesting fact, if a young person is bedridden, say after an operation, they'll lose about 1% of their muscle mass every day if they stay in the bed. But a senior will lose 5% of their muscle mass every day they remain bedridden. Isn't that amazing? This is a process doctors and scientists call sarcopenia. And we have brought in an expert to help us understand this process, this loss of muscle mass. And that can lead to falls and injury and declining health. We don't want that at all. Dr. Michael Scarborough joins us. Dr. Mike is Cindy Becker's, my wife's brother. He's an outstanding man. He knows his business. He's an exercise expert. And he's going to help teach us how to prevent this loss of strength that is inevitable if we don't do certain things as we age. Very important program today. Stay tuned for that. But first, let's go to our news. Let's see what's happening in the health world. Vitamin D improves an emphysema patient's ability to exercise. Researchers in Belgium evaluated 50 chronic obstructive pulmonary disease patients. They gave them 100,000 units of vitamin D a month for three months. Some of the patients received a placebo in the double-blind study. All patients were enrolled in a pulmonary rehabilitation program. Researchers discovered only the patients who took vitamin D showed significant improvements in exercise capacity and respiratory strength. It has long been observed that COPD patients have reduced muscle strength, low vitamin D levels, along with a higher risk of osteoporosis. A second related study from Canada's McGill University found men with a vitamin D receptor gene mutation develop COPD faster than those with normal genes. Folks, this is a landmark development for everyone who smokes or who has COPD. Taking extra vitamin D for emphysema improves muscle strength and exercise capacity. And a different team of researchers have found if you have a mutation of the genes that code for vitamin D receptors, you will develop COPD much faster. This fact, along with the improved rehab response, proves the vitamin D COPD connection. We now know enough about this issue to recommend that every COPD patient get tested for a vitamin D deficiency. If you are deficient, increase your vitamin D intake significantly. Now, the amount used in the study was about 3,500 international units a day. If your doctor will not do the test, find a new doctor who will or you can just start taking vitamin D supplements. These studies confirm your overall condition will improve with time. The evidence is clear, folks. Vitamin D deficiency makes COPD worse. Staying active or feeling fit reduces the occurrence of colds. Researchers from North Carolina's Appalachian State University studied 1,000 people and their exercise habits, cold infections, and attitudes about their fitness. The scientists discovered those people who felt they were fit or those who were active for at least 20 minutes a day, five days a week, had almost 50% fewer colds. They also found if the active people caught a cold, the infection was about 40% less severe. This one's interesting, isn't it? Now, did you notice you don't have to run marathons or lift heavy weights to reduce the number of colds each year? All it takes is being active for 20 minutes or more five days a week. Also, if you can honestly say that you're fit, well, that reduces colds as well. A study also found that being older, male, and married, or if your diet is rich in fruit, your risk of colds is also reduced. While colds are not generally serious, a cancer diagnosis is. Keep in mind the part of the immune system that fights colds is the same part that fights cancer. And past research confirms active people who eat a healthy diet rich in fruit have lower rates of cancer as well. Now, that's news you can use. Today on Your Health, Dr. Michael Scarborough joins us. Dr. Scarborough is Cindy's brother. Plus, he is an expert in physical fitness. Today, he'll help us understand how to keep our muscles strong so that health-promoting walk will become much easier. Interesting program today, one you don't want to miss. We'll be right back.